Who's ready for another round of top 10 favorites? So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys 10 things that I am currently obsessed with that I couldn't wait to share with you guys. As always, everything will be linked down below in the info box. I also put sizing information. So if there's anything that I share that has any sort of sizing or anything like that, always look for that down in the info box as well. Let's go ahead and get started because I've got a ton of things to share with you guys. Do you think about the things we used to do? So my first favorite of the month is my favorite silk pillowcases. So I actually started using silk pillowcases a few years ago. If you haven't done your research on silk pillowcases, you gotta check it out. It is so much better for your hair. It's so much better for your skin. It's so much better for anti-aging. It's, trust me, they are a must have when it comes to the beauty department and sleeping. You need a silk pillowcase, trust me. I used to spend a ton of money on silk pillowcases and the quality of them was not that good. I'm gonna be honest, it is not that good. I started using Lily Silk products a little over a year ago and you guys, I'm obsessed. I have shared Lily Silk with you guys before in the past. I am a Lily Silk partner. I have shared this green top that I'm obsessed with. I still wear it a ton to this day. The shirt that I'm actually wearing today right now is Lily Silk. Their products are so, so beautiful and their pillowcases are no exception. They actually use a Mulberry like 6A silk. It's amazing quality, but the prices are also incredible as well. I also have a coupon code. I will pop it on the screen right now. I believe it is Lux12 to save 12% off. So not only are the pillowcases under $30, but you get to use my coupon code on top of that. They also come in a ton of different colors. My bedding is white. White, so I did go for the white and I love it. Like I said, the quality of these pillowcases is amazing. I do hand wash them and then lay them flat to dry and they've held up really, really well. You can dry clean them as well, but you don't have to. Like I said, I hand wash mine. I'll also link the top that I'm wearing down below for you guys. It is such a beautiful piece. Let me set this down. I am always talking to you guys about closet essentials and closet basics. And this is another example of that, but in an elevated fabric. You've got it in this beautiful quality silk. It also comes in a ton of different colors. This is just one of those pieces that you can dress up or dress down. As you can see, I'm just wearing it with a dark wash denim, but I could definitely see this worn to the office layer a blazer over the top of it and it is just such a beautiful piece. I do wanna share one more piece with you guys that I did order from Lily Silk. It is this stunning, really lightweight trench coat, again, in that beautiful silk fabric. If you're like me and you love the whole vibe of fall but you live in a warmer climate, you want that fall look but you can't have the extra layer, this is the perfect way to get it. This trench is stunning, especially in this really, really nice lightweight silk. It did come in a few different colors. I think it came in three or four colors and I thought this like taupey gray color was so beautiful, so elegant. Again, can be dressed up, can be dressed down. I was really, really impressed with this piece. I'll make sure to link all three of these Lily Silk items down below for you guys. Don't forget, I do have the coupon code. I'll pop it on the screen right here for you guys. But make sure to check out some of their other pieces. I have bought several pieces from them and have had really good luck with their pieces. The quality is amazing. The fit is always really nice. I'll link some of my favorite Lily Silk pieces down below for you guys. And like I said, don't forget about the coupon code that I have. Thank you so much to Lily Silk for partnering with me on this portion of the video. So next I wanna dive into my favorite seasonal candle. So this is my favorite favorite like fall candle. This is my favorite holiday candle, but I will say this is actually my all-time favorite candle. I have been talking about this one for the last two-ish years. I love this one. I like stock up on this one whenever it comes out every season and then I burn it year round. That's how much I love it. So they both come in the one wick and the three wick version. I get asked all the time which one you should buy. Obviously I have bought both, but I will say, I really think the one wick is perfectly fine. And even in like my room with really, really tall ceilings, this one still does a really good job of getting the throw throughout the entire space. So even though I love the look of the three wick candle, I don't always think that is a must. Sometimes I do buy this just because I think it looks a little more substantial decorative wise. So I still will buy the three wick candle, but the one wick does a really, really good job. This one is like a pumpkin chai smell. So obviously it's got that kind of pumpkin and cinnamon and chai scent. Beautiful, beautiful fall candle. And this one is more like cinnamon. It's got touches of citrus and almost like a little bit of vanilla. It is just the most beautiful candle. 
that I have ever smelled. I love this one and the throw is incredible. So if you're looking for two good like seasonal scents, grab these, but this one is my number one. I had to include these in my favorites this month because I love them so, so much. So if you're decorating for fall and you're wanting to do a little bit more of a minimal, elegant look, these are perfection. They come in several different sizes. These are the two sizes that I bought and I just love them. They are so beautiful and elegant. The quality of them is amazing. Like they are actual wood pieces. These are something that I can pull out year after year and just kind of add to my already current decor to add just like that touch of fall without it being like overwhelming or too much. I just think these pieces are so beautiful. Okay, these books are really, really heavy, but I had to include them in this month's favorites because I found so many at a killer, killer price. So first we have this Louis Vuitton book, which is stunning and honestly these books can be really really expensive and i found them at a killer price so first up is this louis vuitton one i love this i actually paid full price for this one but i found it on major sale and it is such a good deal and then next up is the tom ford one this one keeps selling out so i'll link it down below and hopefully it's still in stock but if you're wanting to grab some coffee table books right now is a good time. These are the other two that I wanted to share with you. I've got a Chanel one and then I've got an AD one. Again, both of them I found on sale. So I will link all four of these books down below. I think these are such a beautiful way to decorate throughout your home. I actually have these in my bedroom. I have the Louis Vuitton one here in my studio and I just love to decorate and kind of switch out. That's a great way to change up your decor throughout the year and it just looks really, really elegant. And I love the fact that I found them at such a great price. Next up, I wanna dive into some beauty favorites for the month. And first up is this new collection by BK Beauty. It is in collaboration with Angie Hot and Flashy. I'm sure you guys know Lisa J Makeup here on YouTube as well as Angie Hot and Flashy. She created this collection in collaboration with BK Beauty. And first of all, you guys know how much I love my BK Beauty brushes. They're stunning, they're beautiful, they're the softest ever, and they are seriously my favorite brushes ever. And she added this new line, which are different from the original BK Beauty collection. If you've ever looked at your brush collection, especially if you own all the BK Beauty brushes and felt like you just had a few little missing gaps in your collection. This is a really good way to fill up those gaps. I really do love all of them. My favorite is actually the A506, which is a smaller version of BK Beauty's 101 brush. This is the perfect, perfect like concealer brush. I love this. It was such a beautiful, beautiful creation. And then I also love the blush brush. So I have kind of squinty cheeks and a lot of times it's hard for me to find a blush brush that doesn't overpower my face and kind of take over the entire area of my cheeks. And I really, really love this one. The collection is really beautiful. I love the handles. They just did such an amazing job with this, but then it's got the same super soft bristles and super soft like, um, you know, heads as the typical BK Beauty brushes. I do have a coupon code. I'll put it down below for you guys. If you want to save, I think it's 10% off of the collection. Right now you can only buy the collection as a set. So keep that in mind. I'm not sure if they will ever separate it into indiv individual brushes, but I will say this is a really really beautiful set and if you're looking to add some makeup brushes to your collection I think this is a really really good start. I also recently had a ton of you ask about my favorite blush and I thought I would go and just include this in this month's favorite because it's my favorite. I've been wearing this one for a really long time. Yes I have other blushes that I really enjoy. I have a couple from Chanel that I love but this one, if I could only pick one and had to choose only one, it would be this one by Charlotte Tilbury. It is in the shade First Love. I just love this color. Like it is, I'm wearing it today. It is just the perfect shade. I have it mixed in with the bronzer and I just love the way that it looks. But even on days where I'm going for like a no makeup look, just a touch of this because it gets that like pouty pink color. It is so beautiful, but it actually is a blend of two different colors. So you can use this one a little bit more of like a cheek highlight if you wanna separate this one. And then this one of course gives that perfect pink pout. I typically like kind of swirl them together and put the whole thing on the cheek 
I just love this color. I think it is the perfect everyday blush and the formula is buildable. I just, I love, love, love this. And then I also have to mention one of my newest lipsticks. So if you watched my bestsellers, I talked about a lipstick in that video, which I fell in love with. It is a new lipstick that I found and I ended up kind of just looking around just to see if I could find anything else while I was shopping. And I came across this one from Hourglass. I'm wearing it today. It is so beautiful. However, I will say it is completely different formula from the one that I shared in the bestsellers. This is a lip crayon. So the formula of this one is very lip balmy to me. So if you have dry lips or if your lip does not do well with the texture of lipsticks, this would be a really, really good option for you. So if you get a lot of dry lips or flaky or just in general, your lips just don't do well with lipsticks, this is probably the way to go for you. This just feels so, so comfortable on the lips. It actually feels like a lip balm, but obviously you can see it's got a really, really nice pigment. I do not have anything over the top of this. It gives the most beautiful sheen as well. The color is stunning. It is in the shade Idealist. You guys know, again, I've talked about this so much that it is hard for me to find a good nude lip. And I think this one is so pretty, but I also love the fact that the formula is so light and creamy and hydrating. It's so different from a hydrating lipstick in my opinion. Like I feel like a lipstick is a lipstick. And if it has hydration, that's great. But there's a big difference between something being hydrating and having pigment versus being a lipstick and it being hydrating. I, hopefully that makes sense to you guys. So if you suffer at all with dry lips or just texture with your lips in general, I would try this one in this shade. It's so pretty. I haven't shared a robe with you guys in a very, very long time. I've actually been wearing this for the last two-ish months and I love it, especially for going into the colder months because it is a little bit of a thicker robe. I tend to gravitate towards the kind of really, really thin, like cool nights robes from Soma. Those have been kind of a go-to for me, but I, I decided to grab this one during the Nordstrom anniversary sale and I love it. Yes, it is still available. The weight is really nice. I will say it might get a little hot for those hotter months, like right during the summer, but especially going into the fall and winter, this robe is so, so good. The weight is really nice. I've washed it, I've dried it. It's held up really well. It also comes in a ton of different colors. I just went for this kind of oatmeal -y color and I love it. This has really been a go-to for the last couple of months, so I highly recommend it. Once you start talking about fall, I pull out all of my fall accessories and these Fendi flats are definitely one of my favorite fall shoes. I obviously wear these year round, you guys have seen me, but there's something about this color combo that I love for fall. You guys know that I don't wear a ton of black, but the richness of the black and then that like brown color in this combo is it, just perfection to me. I really, really love that. I also have it in the nude color combo. So just in general, I highly recommend these flats. I think I went, yes, I went true to size in these. I got them in a 36 and a half. They're really, really comfortable. And I do think they're the perfect fall transition shoe because they are this like mesh fabric. I find them extremely breathable, extremely comfortable. And like I said, I love them so much that I did end up buying them in the second color. But if you're looking for a good fall flat and you're wanting to splurge a little, these are my favorite. And another fall must have and favorite of mine during the upcoming months is a suede handbag. And this is my all time favorite suede bag. I am so in love with this bag in general, to be honest, but whenever I saw it in this suede, I just fell in love. This is like my signature fall bag from now on. I've called it, it is my signature bag when it comes to the fall season. So the second Starbucks starts selling their chai tea or their pumpkin spice, I pull this baby out. I love this bag so, so much. It is such a good everyday size. I know I've shared this in other videos, but it is really just my all-time favorite fall bag. I will pull this out every single year 
from now on just be warned it really is just the perfect bag i love it so much i did end up getting it in the nude leather something that i could wear year round because i love the bag itself in general but i will say this one's my favorite this one is my favorite and if you're gonna get only one nikki bag and you do love the suede and you like enjoy fall fashion i really really think this is the way to go this is the ultimate ultimate fall bag in my opinion and i did pull this out recently and i am loving it it is so beautiful the quality is amazing. I've had a lot of people ask how it's wearing. You definitely can see a little bit more wear on the suede, but keep in mind, I did not treat it at all. So if you do buy this bag, I would probably recommend that you spray it with like a suede spray. Mine still doesn't look bad. I think we're going on what? Is this my second year that I've worn this bag or my third year that I've worn this bag? I cannot, I think it's my third. I think this will be my third fall that I'll be pulling this bag out and you can see how it looks. It's still in really, really good condition, but just be warned, I will be wearing this bag nonstop all season long. So that is it, you guys, my top favorites of the month. If you have anything that you would like for me to try, whether it's a brand or a beauty product, make sure to put those down in the comments below. Don't forget to check out all the links in the info box, as well as the coupon code that I have for Lily Silk. All of that will be down below in the info box for you. Thanks so much for hanging out, and I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.